Hi guys, this is you Wendy again from Sayatwitchikimoko and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do something a little more special, which is about the getting the bottom right of a hikizuri. Hikizuri are basically stage costumes and they are also worn yeah, by Maiko and Geisha. Maiko are like apprentice Geisha in fact. They usually look very beautiful, however getting the bottom right is quite a bit of a challenge and after looking quite yeah some videos by yeah someone who filmed it who an otakoshi which is basically a male dresser they they use kind of a special technique and I think I finally understand how they do it and after a bit of practicing I nearly got the same results as they did of course they have a loads of much more experience than I have, but nonetheless, I did want to show you how they do it. So let's go. So here you go. Just put it on your shoulders. After grabbing both collars in both of your lens, bring them to the front, like you would with a normal kimono, and you're gonna raise it. A tiny bit, not too much, just a few centimeters. Then open it up, measure the fronts. It should be the color just, and just past your hips. Open it up, and this is the tricky part. We're going to lift it. The end of the color needs to be nearly at your hips. You're going to pull it up really high and pull, pull it all really really tight the other part again lift it until you've reached your hip bone make sure you have it folded over I will show you from the front as well now tie it off with a koshi emo Again, as tight as you can, because this hemo will need to hold all the skirt part. And given the fact that this hiki weighs around three kilos, it is quite a bit. But just in case, I'll put it on a second. And then you want to pull both colors a bit more upwards. You should be able to feel the fabric wrapping really tight around your lower legs. So this is look like from the front and this from the back. As you see, you kind of get a silhouette from your hips to all the way down to your ankles. Okay. And the front again. So let me show you from this angle. Again, take both colors in your hands, bring them to the front, grab the back seam and lift it a bit. Make sure all, everything is pulled tightly. Open it up. Measuring. Open and lift. Lift, 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 Still holding everything tight. And lift, 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 up and up. Everything should be held tightly during and after. Again, tie it up. Koshi Himu. I 
I start security, I'm going to give it a second. And for even more security, tie it off with the tattoo team. Make sure everything, every koshihimo is hidden underneath. to have to worry about any overshoe or anything because it will be hidden underneath. There you go. Everything is pulled tightly now. There you go. So that's basically it. This is Kind of similar to how the Otokoshi do it when they dress Michael and Keiko. But do remember that you need to pull it very, very tightly, otherwise it will slip down and cause the entire outfit to you know, fall apart, basically. But this one I'm wearing now is one of four, well, actually three real Hikisui. One is technically a lengthened kimono, that means that they took an ordinary kimono and they just put another piece of fabric onto it so that it looks like a hiki but technically it isn't this is one of the, the actually the very first one and it's quite dear to me uh, and since i love michael and keiko so much i really got into how to wear it, how they wear it and it, it eventually how i can do it myself so I thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye bye.